Student nurse Mercy, come and check the blood pressure of my patient. It's graduated from student nurse Mercy, come and check the blood pressure of the patient to nurse Mercy Mary, we need the blood pressure of the patient. And the funniest thing is that whenever we talk about blood pressure monitoring, the only thing that comes to my mind is your spigno manometer, your stethoscope, you have to palpate, or you have to use a monitor. I never knew there was something called the invasive blood pressure monitoring. So it's not just using the spigno manometer to check blood pressure. There's something known as the invasive blood pressure that you can also use to check your blood pressure. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be discussing with you the difference between the invasive and non-invasive blood pressure monitoring system. So I believe in life, we learn daily. When we are exposed, we tend to see things, we tend to see how things are done, and we tend to learn about it, and it sticks more and it gives me more joy to share what I have learned, what I've experienced, and what I've seen so far. But today specifically, I'm going to be talking about the invasive and non-invasive blood pressure monitoring system. But before we go into the details, if you are new on our YouTube channel, the YouTube channel is for all of us. So if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, I don't really know what to say, but just know I'm grateful. I am saying thank you. Let's go there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today we're going to be discussing the difference between the invasive and non-invasive blood pressure monitoring. Like I earlier told you, Steve. I told you I never knew there was a difference between the invasive. I never knew there was something called invasive blood pressure monitoring. So I'm going to be explaining it to all of us so we tend to know what it means and how what it entails. First of all, let's break it down in a layman's language. You know, that's what I normally do. So as the name implies, invasive, you are getting inside invasive blood pressure monitoring. It simply means for you to get the blood pressure, you have to invade, invasive. But non-invasive, you are not invading. You are just checking, but you are not invading. You are not going inside. So, invasive blood pressure. There's in invasive blood pressure. There's what we call the transducer. I'll drop the picture. You can see it on the screen. There's what we call the transducer. They have to check and tell, look for the arterial line. You have to set the arterial line up. You have to um, do a lot of things. This is the setup. You can see the picture. You can see the setup for in. An invasive blood pressure monitoring so it is like invading the arterial artery so you are insert you are putting a needle in the arterial artery that monitors the blood pressure but in non-invasive you are not you're not even you're not cutting a pinch you're not invading the arterial line you're not even invading the venous line you're not invading anything you are checking the blood pressure by putting the cuff on the hand so that is the major the obvious difference between the invasive and non-invasive. In the lemma's language, in the invasive blood pressure monitoring system, you are invading the arteries. You get you are invading the you are inserting something into the artery to give you the blood pressure of a patient. But in non-invasive, you are not invading anything. You are just applying something on top of the skin to get your blood pressure. So I'm going to be sharing some of the things you should take note of when. You, you know, anything that has advantage also has disadvantage. So I'm going to be sharing with you the differences between both and how it works. For the invasive blood pressure, I actually dropped some key points here because I don't want to forget any. For the invasive blood pressure, it affords constant measurement. You will just be seeing the blood pressure. You don't need to pop. You don't need to press stats. You don't need to press every 15 minutes, check the blood pressure. No, you just see um, the blood pressure. On the monitor it's showing directly on the monitor because it's constantly telling you the figure if the figure changes once you just see it on the system it doesn't have to wait for the next five minutes to pop the cough to actually get the reading the figures are showing directly on the on the screen because you have invaded it's in the artery so the blood uh, the blood pressure is showing on the screen if it changes in two minutes if it changes in a minute you see it on the screen you get that's one of the major advantage one of the biggest 
thing I like about the um, um the invasive blood pressure. But in a non-invasive, you can't. You have to wait till the cough is. You have to wait till you pop the cough. It inflates. It deflates. Then it really show on the screen. So in invasive blood pressure affords constant measurement, and therefore the constant value. Real time changes are seen on the screen that allows for quicker treatment. If there's something that you should be worried about, it shows automatically on the screen and quickly you take action. Quickly, you know this patient is going into hypertension. Quickly, you know this patient is becoming hypertensive and action is taken immediately. You get So that is for the, um, the invasive blood pressure. And also, I believe why I have not really come in contact with it because I have not really worked in the intensive care unit because that is what um, patients in the intensive care unit usually used because you have to keep in touch. You have to keep checking this patient to know how they are doing, to know their blood pressure, to know their pulse. You have to know everything about the patient. So I believe that is why I've not seen it because I've not worked in an intensive care unit before because that's what they normally use in an intensive care unit. So another thing you have to know is that no errors due to incorrect fitting. That's one of the advantage. You know, if you don't put the cough properly for the non-invasive, that one you have to put a cough. If you don't put the cough properly, if the patient is not properly positioned, if the patient is moving the hand, that can affect the value. But for the for the invasive as far as the arterial line is there, it is zeroed, it is leveled, it is showing on the screen. So you can't say the, the value is not correct. As far as you place the transducer properly, everything is there, you get the correct value. But for non-invasive, if the cough is not placed properly, you can get a wrong value. Then another point is that it's most reliable measurement. It's the most reliable measurement. There's continuous blood pressure despite hypertension sometimes when you use the non-invasive um non-invasive the one with the cough you are not able to get the values when the patient is hypertensive but with this invasive you are able to get the values you are able to know okay this patient is hypertensive you have continuous blood pressure monitoring and it shows directly on the screen so in terms of um uh, invasive i think it's more risk for the patient because you are invading anything that has invasion, there's a possibility of causing infection, right? Yes. So anything that has advantage has disadvantage. So you are invading, you are you are going inside the patient's artery. So care has to be taken. Aseptic technique has to be con taken into consideration because you are invading. Infection can go into the body when bringing the arteries when. When bringing the arterial line out, when you are done with the patient, and we have to, you have to apply a lot of pressure because if you don't apply pressure, there could be spillage of blood. The patient can bleed, so you have to be very conscious when removing the arterial line. So for arterial line, the patient is more at risk when compared to the non-invasive. Okay. After um, surgery, we have to remove the arterial line before taking the patient back to the ward. It's normal. That's what we normally do. We remove the arterial line before taking the patient back to the ward. And we have to apply pressure on the arterial line before take, before um, removing it finally. You see that the bleeding stop. So when you are using an, an invasive blood pressure, it is more risk when compared to the other one. And then also, painful to place. Yeah, it is painful. To, you know, you are searching his arterial line. It's painful to put it if the patient is seeing what you are doing. You are hitting the patient. You are trying to get the arteries. You are trying to locate the arteries. It takes time. It takes more time to place it. You get. But for the non-invasive, it's not painful. Just wrap, put the cuff, and you are good to go, right? So that, like I said, anything that has advantage has disadvantage. Then another thing is that for invasive. I cannot just go me i cannot set invasive arterial i cannot set that arterial line i cannot set it up you get i cannot uh, put the cannulas there i can't i can't do it it has to be you have to be skilled you have to be trained for it it's not what you just what you just say put the cough you know cough you can easily put somebody can easily learn how to put cough within a day but this arterial line you have to be skilled with it it's a skills i think it's a skill so you have to be skilled it's not just um it's not just done by anyhow anybody anybody cannot just come around and do it so most of the times i think it's the anesthetics or the surgeons that do that not we it's not me i'm not the one doing it my is just to monitor ensure that the pressure is okay ensure that the transducer is in the right position and watch the patient properly 
up i'm not the one that sets the arterial line so the arterial line is actually set up by skilled professionals skilled workers that are that have been signed that are competent to do it unlike the non-invasive that i can learn for a day or two then an expense of material and equipment you know for the arterial line there are a lot of things you need you get there are a lot of things you need you can see them on the screen you can see all the things you need you need you need them the, you need the cannulas you need the transducers you need a lot of setup to be able to get, um, set up the arterial line but for blood pressure cough you can use the cough for two people three people that's why you are cleaning it after each patient you can use it for several patients over and over again but uh, this uh, particular arterial line you have to be changing a, a material you have to be changing equipment you have to be changing you can't use the cannula i use for patient a for patient b you have to get a new one you have to get a fresh one so it's kind of more expensive than the other one so i really hope this video helped you understand the invasive and non-invasive blood pressure monitoring the invasive it's very very important because it gives you a direct monitoring like one of the advantages that it gives you it's constant you are seeing what is happening if there's a change you can easily notice it and quickly take action but non-invasive you know you have to take time it has to pop it has to deflate then it might not mm -mm -mm. then it's not show you the figure you get so that is why the arterial line is actually used for critically ill patients i sincerely hope this video help you understand what um the arterial line um the arterial line which is used for monitoring the invasive blood pressure it's all about i do get okay just no invasive you're invading non-invasive you're not invading so that is the difference between the invasive and the non-invasive blood pressure monitoring thank you very much for staying to you thank you very much for watching my video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with your friend if you got value for all my returning subscribers i am saying thank you if you are a nursing student and you have not registered for our classes on telegram seriously it's just small money all you need to do is to send a message to the whatsapp number showing on your screen so you have access to all my voice notes these are voice notes that help you prepare for the nursing and midwifery council exams we have voice notes that explain the cardiovascular system respiratory system digestive system research in nursing community all prepared by your student just because of you to make learning easy and accessible so all you have to do is to send a message to the whatsapp number showing on your screen so you can have access to these voice notes to help you prepare for your exams we are proud to say that we have 99.9 success percent success story thank you very much once again and you have a wonderful day ahead i still remain your favorite nurse miss mary popularly known as the nurse with the difference bye